Still my heart and hold my tongue. I feel my time. My time has come. Let me in. Unlock the door. Hey, I'm Josh. And I'm Hayden. And we're getting married May 11, 2013. <laughs> <laughs> We're extremely excited about what God's doing in our relationship and in our life. Um, we, he, through numerous uh, confirmations, has revealed to us that we're going to be partners in life and that we're going to take the two ministries that we've been doing separately and bringing them into one uh, to glorify the name of Jesus Christ. God had spoken to me and God had spoken to Josh separately and together that we were going to be each other's future spouses. Um, I knew he was going to be my husband and he knew I was going to be his wife and when we got together we kept talking about it and we're like, wow, you know, this is what God's lining up, like you're, I'm going to marry you and um, our heart for ministry is the same and our passions for ministry and serving the Lord is the same and um, with that we're just so excited to be able to team up as a team together and to be able to go out and uh, do whatever the Lord calls us to do. We're super excited about getting married and um, it's not as much as a deadline, we're just excited to get married in May and we want um, the opportunities to be able to open for us and God to use us however He wants as a married couple. Uh, so we're really excited about everything the Lord's done. Me and Hayden, when we started dating, all we did was talk about um, our love for Christ, our love for ministry, our love for people. We both talked about missions and how, um, you know, through one of my mentors, I know God had been revealing that um, the idea of going to do mission work, and I've been praying about it some time, and felt like God could have could be leading me that direction. And Hayden, for some time as well, has felt led in um, doing mission work. And plan in fact, had already planned next year about this time to be leaving for El Salvador. In your fire. Before I met Josh, I was planning to go to El Salvador um, next year for nine months in a program called the GAP program. I had told Josh about this when we first met, and we both shared our same heart for missions and what God was doing in our lives, and our lives started lining up uh, side by side. We're super stoked because since we've gotten engaged, um, God has opened some doors. There's a possibility, um, still a possibility, um, that God will use us to go to Costa Rica and work as interns. It's amazing that God has allowed that to happen since the engagement. It's just, it's just evidence of the Lord's work in our relationship and Him wanting to take um, our abilities as uh, brother and sister in Christ and bring it into one ministry together. We're in love with each other. Uh, very, very in love. And it's just amazing that God has allowed us um, to feel this kind of love for each other within the time frame that we've been dating. We definitely are aware that um, it seems like this, re this relationship has moved very fast and we're already engaged after such a short time of um, knowing each other and dating. Um, but I, I would say that's just the way God works sometimes. Sometimes He works in extravagant ways and um, supernatural, abnormal ways. I'm a big believer of that and I don't believe in putting God in a box. And, God has, in a very supernatural way, brought this love together and brought this connection and has opened the doors for opportunities um, within our marriage to do the work of the kingdom. Since I've met Josh, uh, we have been completely inseparable. Um, we've done so much ministry just in the two months that we've been dating. Uh, and that's, that's how I want my life to look like. That's how I want my marriage to look like. I want to be in ministry all the time. And to have someone that's just as passionate about ministry as I am is just incredible. Because anywhere we go, every, everywhere we go, from Waffle House to get breakfast to school, it's an, always a ministry opportunity for both of us. And we both see it that way. It's so cool to have someone to encourage you like that. And Josh is the most Christ-like man I've ever met in my life. And to have him encourage me and support me and to... Um, not as much speak with emotion and situation, but how Christ would handle the situation. Everything is biblically based, and 
it's just incredible how much I've grown and how much he's sharpened me as a Christ follower. And um, it's been incredible how much I've grown and how much the love of Christ has grown us together. We're so excited to be getting married and be able to honor the Lord and glorify God in marriage. To be honest, I, I sort of hit a point in my life where I was like, you know, God, there, there, there can't be, um, you know, there's not, there's not going to be a Proverbs 31 girl. Like, I can't, I'm not going to find, like, this Christ-like woman that I can spend the rest of my life with. And um, he definitely proved me way wrong. Not only, like, if, if this is my expectation of a Christ-like woman, God has given me this. Way, way, way beyond more than I could have ever expected with Hayden. Um, she has such a loving heart and compassionate heart for others, and um, I just see the Holy Spirit working through her every day. It's amazing to see um, the love of Christ in her, and to, to know that's the kind of woman that um, God has graciously given me, and uh, it's an honor and a privilege to serve alongside her. We, we ask for all your prayers and support. Um, support of everyone means the world to us. And we want people to take part not only in this because of me and Hayden, but because we truly see the work of Christ um, in our relationship. And um, we ask everyone that are brothers and sisters to um, keep us in prayer. Um, pray for us that God will use us to the greatest of our abilities. And um, that God will open the doors as He would see fit for His will, for His glory, and for the kingdom that is to come. <laughs> yeah, we just wanted to um, be able to post a video, not exactly. Or dang it, oh, I'm gonna pop it up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this so much. I suck at this. Okay. You go. I don't know what to say. I think we should start over. Dang it! <laughs> oh, you're die, doing fine. Die! Die! You're doing fine. Okay. Do we just leave it running? Yes. Oh. Let's not start over because we did a good intro already. Okay. okay. Uh, I. Oh. Really bad in front of the camera. I think I'm gonna turn that screen around so I can't see myself. Maybe that's what it is. No, you're fine. I think I don't like watching myself. You're so beautiful. Stop but I don't like. About it. <laughs> you're out of your mind. Okay. okay. That was fine. Just be you. <gasps> I'm trying so hard. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm gonna just do this right now. <laughs> you said and just cut out what I can actually say. What do you mean? Okay. <laughs> just do this. Okay. Is for the way you Alright. Dang it! Okay. <laughs> this is why she needs a male leader in her life. Yep, because I am just a damsel in distress. I can't do anything on my own. That bitch, I'm really, really in love with you. <laughs> <laughs> right, There's no explanation, just look how beautiful we are. We're gay.